Shit bugs me out. In the hip hop culture today, we drink lean, we have orgies, we sniff coke, we do all type of psychedelic drugs, and all we want to do is have a motherfucking good time. Where the music doesn't teach you shit. I mean, motherfuckers act like they don't brush their teeth. Motherfuckers act like they don't fucking go to school. That they don't want to fucking learn. You understand? Motherfuckers act like personal hygiene don't exist because nobody's talking about it. I mean, come on, let's be real. When have you ever went to a club or a rap show, concert or some shit like that where a nigga breakfast thinking? Where the nigga armpits is funky as shit? Well, you got to ask the motherfucker, nigga, did you brush your teeth and wash your ass today? Ladies, when have you ever motherfucking saw a nigga that you wanted to get with, right? Y'all kicked it or whatever. Next thing you know, this nigga kick off his fucking shoes and his feet is funky and stinky and them shits is busted up. But nobody's talking about that shit. And the culture, as far as dealing with the hip hop culture, it pushes and promotes that shit. I mean, hell, let's be real. What we wear is not conducive to our bodies. What we put on our feet is not conducive to our bodies. What we smoke is not conducive to our teeth and our tongue. And, the in, and our internal organs. Thus, I had to put it out. I had to come correct. I had to give you all the viewers something that you can fucking take with you and say, you know what? This motherfucker cares. Personal hygiene and hip hop. Let's start off with the feet. I remember I used to wear Timberlands throughout the whole fucking year. I mean, my shit was fucked up. I mean, let's be real. You're walking with construction boots on every day no pad no cushion or nothing you understand nowadays you know what i wear well i'm gonna show you let's go so as you can see this is basically all i have say i ain't no fucking sneaker whore i ain't gonna spend a whole lot of fucking money on no goddamn sneakers i got a, i got kids i got other fucking responsibilities then to spend some fucking money on some goddamn sneakers. But this is basically all I wear. You know what I'm saying? The Vibrams. Shit's just mad comfortable, yo. You know what I'm saying? Flexible. This is all I wear. Shit is comfortable on my feet, man. You gotta take care of your fucking feet. You know what I'm saying? Running sneakers. Flexible shit, man. You know, it's, you, you gotta allow your fucking feet to fucking breathe, man. Fucking wear, man. I'm trying to kill my motherfucking feet. Gotta take care of your fucking feet, man. Now, those fucking running sneakers I wear in the winter time. 90% of the time in the summer, this is what I'm wearing. Bow. Call me homo, call me, call me a faggot, whatever the fuck you want to call me. But my feet are comfortable, they're breathing, and they're good. When a lady see my toes, they're like, yo, this, this nigga take care of himself. Yeah, true indeed. I don't get no French manicures and go to the Ching Chong spot, the nail spot, and get my shit done up. Yeah, you're, you're right. I don't go that fucking far. But my shit be straight. You understand? And I know your, you, you get old niggas, your hood motherfuckers that sit back and say, I bet you that nigga won't wear that shit to the hood. Could you please make up your mind? First you say, if you ain't from the hood, stay out of the hood. And now you're saying, I bet you that nigga won't wear that shit to the hood. Well, I'll tell you what. I don't go anywhere that I can't wear flip-flops. I'm going to say it again. I don't go anywhere where I can't wear flip-flops. That plain and simple. Let's move on. I have a whole regimen when it comes to brushing my teeth. Let's take a look. All right, these are my tools right here. Got a floss. Got my toothbrush. You want a medium bristle. 
toothbrush. Got my non-aluminum baking soda. And I got my peppermint salt. So we about to get to work. Let's go. Now that you see how I get down, this is the reason why I don't have to wear fucking grills on my teeth. Because my teeth are white. You see, I could bling bling without the motherfucking diamond and gold teeth grills. What about you? Let's move on. I have dreads. I mean, it's apparent. You understand? Dreadlocks or locks or whatever the fuck you want to call it. You understand? Niggas get so fucking emotional with this bullshit. I fashion locks, manicure locks, all that dumb shit. Freeform, all that dumb shit. Whatever the fuck. You understand? We, we have to. Niggas that have dreads, you got to wash your hair, nigga. You can't go two, three weeks without washing your motherfucking hair. You understand? I get in that shower. And nigga, I got, I got that voice, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm Luther Vandross in the motherfucking shower. I wash my motherfucking hair. Well, shit, fuck it. Take a look. I admit to the home. Turn this house into a home. I promise to turn the key. Oh, please be there saying that you're still in love. your hair you understand dreads this is matted up hair so you got to get in the inside of the fucking hair as much as possible you understand and you got to get on the outside you got to at least wash your hair once or twice a week i'm known motherfuckers that had that had dreadlocks they said yo nigga one a month and you and, and it's like i know why because your shit is funky as shit but if you don't have dreads and you just have like a regular brush fade or a perm whatever the fuck Nigga, it's best that you wash your fucking head. Let's move on. Toilet. Oh my God. I have heard this shit in lyrics, rhymes, songs, and this shit bugs me out. I'm glad that I'm on this topic. Nigga, if you pee standing up, whether you have the toilet seat down or up, the drips from the urine is going to Hop up from the water and get on the seat. Now, you can turn around and take a tissue and wipe it, but you're smearing the urine all over on the fucking seat. This is a method that we have to sit back and analyze and say to ourselves, we have to cut it out. That sitting on the toilet is not feminine. You're already sitting on the toilet when you take a shit, nigga. Now, I can understand if... if listen, I don't fucking piss standing, standing up. Um, excuse me, I piss standing up when I go to restaurants and different places, public restrooms and shit like that. I understand that part. But when you're at home, nigga, sit your ass down when you take a fucking piss. Especially when if you got a girlfriend and you got kids, they're going to sit on the fucking toilet. And those, those little urine drips, you can't see them shits. Them shits is like micro at times. That has got to be the nastiest shit that I've ever seen in my motherfucking life. You understand? I used to do it, but now I sit my ass the fuck down. Let's move on. Deodorant. Now me, I don't use deodorant. You can say what the fuck you want to say. You can, I know you're gonna make up. You're gonna joke and say, "Oh, nigga, da 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 da." You one of them motherfucking co uh, 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 fucking uh, natural niggas that do da 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 da. Nigga, let me explain something to you. If you're eating the proper foods and drinking the right amount of water, you do not need to put on deodorant. You see, what you eat and your digestive system and all the rest of that shit that's internal, it's going to push out through your pores, push out the toxins and the poisons that you have in your body. So what you have in your body 
is pushed out. And that's what's thinking. That's what's making your breath stink also. No matter how many times you brush your teeth, if you're not eating the proper foods and drinking the proper water, your breath is going to stink and your whole overall body is going to fucking stink. So nigga, I'm not telling you to stop using deodorant. I'm just telling you overall, eat better and drink more water. And while we're on the topic of water, I drink nothing but the best. Alkaline water. Check me out. Here we go. Here we go. This is the problem that we're facing. Especially in a black community. Niggas don't drink water. Motherfuckers drink flavor aid, Kool-Aid, Gatorade, Snapple. All types of motherfucking shit that got artificial sugars, flavors, coloring in it. Nobody's drinking water. And you wonder why your face is all fucked up. You wonder why you're aging so fast. I've seen 20-year-old motherfuckers going bald. I've seen 20-year-old motherfuckers got acne out the fucking ass. I've seen 20-year-old motherfuckers look like they're 45 years old. We need to do better as a community. Hey, listen, I'm only here to help. Don't get mad at me. Get mad at yourself if you don't practice personal hygiene to the fullest. I'm Langston, 20, fucking 92. Subscribe, like, share my shit, and comment.